You have entered the Plumbing Business Success Zone, teaching entrepreneurs the business of plumbing. This is Potty Talk Live, recorded live every week. Turn on notifications to never miss an episode. Now your host, Richard Bainey, the Million Dollar Plumber. Hey, 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 plumbing pros, welcome to the 312th episode of Potty Talk Live. Hey there, I'm your host, Richard Bainey, the Million Dollar Plumber, alongside my beautiful co-host, the lovely Laura, where we're talking the business of plumbing. Mm-hmm. Hey, and we have a great episode tonight here. We're continuing our series on the MDP mindset, mm-hmm. the million dollar plumber mindset. Mm-hmm. And tonight's title, mm-hmm. all right, topic here is yes. the biggie. Okay, it's, the it, biggie? It, I think it's the biggie. Okay. okay, even though we have some more to talk about with the million dollar plumber mindset, mm-hmm. but I think this is the one. This okay. is the one that holds most everyone back. All right. Th- this is the one that we see as the, the business killer. So okay. we're going to be talking about that tonight. All right. How to overcome a scarcity dun, 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 <laughs> mindset. All right. We'll get into it here in just a moment. Mm-hmm. A good one. Yes. But, hey, good to have you here. And yes. it looks like we are. Hey, Ricky. The clock Ricky is Bobby. ticking. We are oh. a go. <laughs> Everything seems to be Ain't A-OK. Bad, All right. Hey, Lance. All right. Good to have everyone here. So, hey, if you know what to do. Um, I'm be, yes. I'm, okay. I'm All sorry. right. If you're watching hey, live or joining us. Type live. Let us know that you're part of the live social audience. Mm-hmm. If you're watching Aww. the replay, type replay. <laughs> and if you're listening to the podcast, mm-hmm. just keep on keep listening. On All right. <laughs> what do we have? Katie likes our hair. Look at Katie. That's right. Thanks, Katie. <laughs> that's that's our. Um, that's our. That, that's who keeps that's us looking good. <laughs> that's right. All right. Our, the she is, yes, she is, she is a fireball. She is a fireball. Yeah. Yes, and fun. got to see her whole face today. Yes. Yes, All which right. is exciting. No mask I think anymore the, her, the, at the, the salon. At the business, it mm-hmm. looks like they kind of... Well, we hadn't been wearing a mask. We haven't. But the, the ladies And had, she was but, coming in special yes. to take care of us on Mondays or whatever, but still <laughs> had to wear, you right. know, wearing the mask. Mm-hmm. She's not a mask, well, that necessarily comment. a mask, yes, mask, mask wearer. wearer. So we had to see her whole face, which was exciting. Anyway, hey, Steve. Um, and then folks said they're watching from the beach. Watching like from the right beach. Right around the corner from where we from are. From where we're at. Mm-hmm. We had uh, some clients in this past week, mm-hmm. and, we, and some, are, some are still in. Mm-hmm. A great time. Yes. Been loving it. Uh, the Fox were in with uh, the say, beautiful family. Yes, with Craig Fox. Plumbing with Craig out of Fox. Rochester. Yes. Who do you want to say hi to in the Fox family? I want to say... Hello, Bella. <laughs> Hi, Bella. <laughs> right. hey, Bella, Bella's my buddy. Bella is your buddy. Right. Cleet from Australia. Hey, welcome. Good while. to have you here. Cleet, nice to see All you. All right. Hey, Johnny All Gibson. All right. Good to have you here, brother. Yeah. All right, but we had we had a great time. We did. Hey, GB. In fact, one of one of the couples um, got married. Yes. One of the plumbing power that couples so got married. Mm-hmm. You know, so it was an emotional. Quite frankly, I'm feeling a little. Uh, I'm feeling a little wore out. It's just I the emotion <laughs> of with being with everybody and all the, the high house. emotion, you know, and it's just mm-hmm. just loving it. Yes, it was you know? fun. Everybody here. And uh, so, hey, Ashley Garfield watching live. All right. Good to have you Is here. Has that ever happened? All right. <laughs> Good to know. have you here. All right. Stick around here. Hey, we got, I can't wait to get into this one, this whole scarcity mm-hmm. This whole scarcity thing, Mm -hmm. you know, Uh, we're going to tell you how you can overcome what you do to overcome that scarcity mindset. All right. Yes. But this this is so important Mm -hmm. because as we see, we see this is the thing that holds Mm -hmm. so many plumbing businesses back. Yes, because that's where we come. Most of the time, that's where we come from, what our background is. Right. So we've been conditioned to think this way, Mm -hmm. you know, this idea. And, you know, it's it's all around us. Yes. You know, this, you know, um, I, I don't know how my whole life. The planet's gonna die. You know, I've been I've been taught that at school. Do you Duh, remember? Do you remember back in the yes. late seventies and eighties? It was okay, gonna be the totally world within a year. Remember Ted ourselves. Danson saying, you know, in in ten years, mm. the whole world's gonna be frozen. Frozen you know? solid. And then by the time we got to that ten years, mm-hmm. you know, in ten years, the world's just gonna be one fireball. <laughs> you know, <laughs> it's just like that. Every every animal on the planet is gonna die. Mm-hmm. You know. It's just we've been conditioned to think this way, yes, you know, scarcity. Yes. the scarcity and this, so, this fearful. Yes. So we're going to get into that. But right okay. now, we can you get... see her managing? Me? Are you managing me? <laughs> I, I was on a roll there. <laughs> <laughs> I would never do that. Okay. Um, if you're watching the show, also, my... you want to make sure that you thank you, Sparky, um, sign up to get text messages when we go live. Because we will be moving to um, another platform at some point, so you want to make sure that you do get a message, text message when we go live. So, Katie, type text in the comments right now. I told her I promise to remember okay. to remind her. So, text in the comments. Yes, we did. Um, we we did some rigging or whatever to be able yes. to come back because it's working, we want to. Right. Okay. Yes. So this is now the third time. 
Um, hey, BV. Hey, BV. This is the third time that we've tried to do this show. So, right. so far, uh, let everybody know, is, are we hanging up at all? Is it is it glitching out on right. you or anything, or are we good to go? But we do have a whole new platform and everything coming along, mm-hmm. but it takes we time. all we, kinds of new yeah, stuff. We've got some cool stuff we coming do. on. I'm just just yeah, loving it. New website. Okay, and yep. All, all this kind of stuff going mm-hmm. on. So, um, but we'll have that platform coming and even yes. um, even revamping the show a little bit and mm-hmm. that kind of stuff. So, all kinds of fun um, stuff. Also, but, make sure you share. Hit the share button. Share with all your friends. Even if they aren't plumbing business owners, they may get a nugget or two out of something that we say. Well, at least yeah, have some fun, okay? <laughs> or, you know, say, so who is that crazy? Who's Yahoo's? Right, who are those doing? Yahoo's? Right. Good so far, Lance says. Good. Thank you, Lance. Right. Good news. Okay, so we're uh, going to get into the scarcity thing here. Okay. What's our question here? Sparky, can Sparky. you throw up our question? Mm-hmm. All right. Hey, what did your parents have to say about money yes. what did, when they talked about money what, mm-hmm. what did your parents you know that's that's one of our you know obviously that's a strong influence certainly and and we we learn um a lot from our parents mm-hmm. you know what, what did you how did your parents speak about money right you know um, mine um perfect this week thanks mikey um mine was always um turn off good quality even right he said turn off the lights we're not made of money. They aren't made of money. Yeah, so my dad would, um, thanks, Matt, um, go around and flipping off the lights and. Yeah, yes. we, we were uh, we were going to run out of water. <laughs> you know, we, we were going to run out of water, so we couldn't flood. We had to use the toilet, and had to just kind of keep it in there for a week. Oh, no way. Well, no, I'm, I'm, I'm exaggerating, <laughs> but for a day, I mean, we only get like to flush the toilet one. You know, mm-hmm. I remember that's one of the things I rebelled on. I'm not going to sit on it. <laughs> but that that kind of stuff, you know. All right. Um, Katie said, live below your means and be responsible. Right. Um, which is good, but what's your means, right? Right. So normally, yeah, that, that's more of a scarcity mindset. So. Now, all this stuff, it comes from mm-hmm. scarcity, right? Yes, absolutely. You know, and mm-hmm. that's what, what holds a lot of, lot of people mm-hmm. back. They, they said, said, save it. it. <laughs> save it. <laughs> save your money. You know, a penny saved is a penny earned. Save for a rainy day, Matt. <sighs> Matt Garfield's on, too. Both all right. Of them. All right. Yeah. Good to have you here. Um, doesn't save grow, for a rainy day. doesn't grow on trees. Right. Well, it's... It's paper. Well, it's pa- paper. Right. Trees. So it is made out of paper pulp. Paper comes from. You know, it's made out of pulp, you know, trees, <laughs> that kind of thing. So in a way, it does. It kind of does. Okay. Parents All right. To you, but, but there's that sense that there, there's not enough money. Okay. <laughs> Lance, okay. ours was heat, but the door's open. <laughs> what are you trying to heat the outside? Right. Well, you live in a barn. <laughs> you know? But, but <laughs> it back. That does oh, bring back man. some memories. But I can remember, you know, and, and it comes out of. Um, you know, a lot of us here in the plumbing, you know, if we were a plumber, we probably have a lot in common. We didn't mm. come from, um, obviously, wealthy families. Mm. Mo- most like. people are in plumbing, mm-hmm. okay? Uh, more than likely, it was, you know, um, low to middle class. Mm-hmm. And even though we think we could say you're poor, look, if you went to public school and um, you celebrated, you know, you got a gift on Christmas mm-hmm. or you were able to um, go to a movie or eat out once in a while, that kind of stuff, you're middle class, mm-hmm. okay? You're not yes. poor. I right. mean, there's no, I mean... You know, a lot There's of people in our country. There's very little poor in, 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 in our country. Right. Mm-hmm. All right. It's just. Um, Comparably speaking to the rest of the world. Right. right. Okay. Mm-hmm. So we were, you know, you know, middle class. Mm-hmm. Okay. So we didn't, didn't have a lot, mm-hmm. um, you know, and then like in, in our household, um, you know, I can remember getting a spanking. Mm-hmm. Remember when you could spank? <laughs> okay. All right. Sure. Okay. Do you yeah. still spank your kids? Surely, I hope surely, you do. To goodness, All right. children. No, I mean, no, no, no the way things are looking, I don't think there's a lot of spanking going there on. There should be right. for direct disobedience. For direct disobedience. Yes. Anyway, but or for <laughs> drinking the one gallon of milk <laughs> that was supposed to last all week. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I got a spanking for that. Okay, yeah, Matt, um, live poor because, <laughs> because Jesus, Jesus did. did. Oh, that's the one. Oh, 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 you know, right to the soul. Right. Wow. Okay, <laughs> there's starving chi- children in China. Right. But Jesus did. But Jesus also had very rich friends who right. supported his ministry. Right. So there's he that. supported the ministry. Mm-hmm. Right. Okay. <laughs> That's right. Because <laughs> Jesus, Jesus did. Okay. <laughs> oh, the things oh, we say to all our right. parents. So our parents say to us. Right. That's, that's some good stuff. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, let's get into it. Okay. okay? Mm-hmm. How, how can you overcome this, this scarcity mindset? Okay. I don't know. How? All right. Well, yeah. Us. Yeah. I got, okay. I got Three ways that you can do it. All really? right. Really? Three. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Number one. All right. All right. Watch your mouth. Watch your mouth. All right. Did your mom ever say, you know, um, you know, boy, watch your mouth. Watch your mouth. Okay, mm-hmm. I did. After I, then I get a spanking. <laughs> a lot of spankings. I got a lot of spankings. There was a period of time. Me too. Okay, it was good. Mm-hmm. It's made me who I am today. That's you know, right. made you the million dollar. It made plumber. me the million dollar plumber. All right. <laughs> um, no, but watch, watch your mouth. Mm-hmm. Okay, what do we mean by that? What know. we say is very powerful, mm. okay? 
Uh, what what we speak you. out, mm. okay, um, is a very powerful thing. Yeah, you're confessing it over yourself. Right. Mm. So when we speak out things like, um, oh, I'll, I'll never, you know, I'll never make make enough money. Right. I'm trying to think some of the things. I tried to figure out all these things. I wrote a few down here. <laughs> yes. You know, I can't seem to get ahead. That's a good one. Yeah, I'll never get ahead. I'll never get ahead. This it's is, just. This is my lot in life. life. This is just lot, where I come from. Life. Right. You know, mm. that, that kind of thing. Right. That's from. From. From a bug's life. Yes, bug's, bug's life. life. I was All thinking right. ants, but no, it's bug's life. All right. Yeah, I think you know, that's a great line. I'm destined to be poor. Mm. That's mm. a I'm destined to be poor. Then you're right. Right. Mm -hmm. You did, speak these things. What did um, Henry Ford say? Right. Um, whether you're, oh, what was the famous oh. saying? Um, if you think you're, you'll are you be what, successful. What, whether you think you are or you think you're, you're not. You're not. You're right. You're right. You're right. Okay, mm -hmm. which is. Right, because you're speaking it, it over. Right. Yourself. It's mm -hmm. so true. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. um, here's a, here, this is one. I hear this one a lot what? from um, this is good enough. Mm. What we have is good enough. What we have is good enough. Right. Mm -hmm. We don't okay. need, I don't need some big fancy I know, house. I don't need a fancy house. Mm -hmm. And by the way, the stuff is not what makes you happy. And that's not of what it's about. Not. It's more important not. what we're telling ourselves. Yes. It's mm -hmm. more that, that thing of, well, I, I, you know, I, don't need, mm -hmm. I, I, don't, I don't need a big fancy house. Right. Well, what's fancy, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. Well, it is fancy, right? Mm -hmm. Because more than likely, good Christine, right. more than likely, um, the house that you have is better than ninety-eight percent of the world. Right. If you have a house, right, then you're probably better than ninety-eight percent of the world. Right. So, what's fancy enough? Right. What What's fancy? Right. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, um, uh, you know, two-bedroom house, run, something with running water right. is fancy to someone else. Well, right? oh, this leads to the other one. What we hear often is, well, "I don't want to be greedy." Mm. I don't. I don't mm. want to be greedy. Mm -hmm. You know. So what? Well, are well, you taken away from well, someone else? Right. Well, see, that's that's the scarcity. See, that goes to the scare. That, right. That's the whole idea with the whole scarcity thing. Mm -hmm. That there, 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 there's a finite amount. You know. Right. Look, there's a there's a finite. No, there's not. I mean, there's, there's, an there's infinite. An infinite amount of right. water, air, money, money, mm -hmm. uh, opportunity. Op Opportunity, that's um, yes. you know, possibilities. It, there's absolutely. an infinite amount. Mm -hmm. Okay, there, there's there's not a, a finite there's pie. Right, right. Now there's those the powers that be. Um, you know, it goes well. Some people are just fearful. You know, mm -hmm. you, you have a personality. You're just kind of a bent that's kind of been fearful for whatever reason in your life. Mm -hmm. Like kind of how we've been conditioned is right. part of it. To even our, you know, some people are more have a more um, inward, you know, mm -hmm. protective. Yeah. Uh, uh, being aren't, aren't so risk risk what is it risk, risk taking aversion yeah they have a, more of a version to yeah. risk or whatever mm -hmm. that kind of a thing mm -hmm. and then of course we live in a you know our, our society and our news and all that is how everything is you know we're going to die when we're going through a period right now with you know with this whole zombie thing that you know we're all going to die <laughs> okay you know I'm, you I'm, not, I'm not going i'm not going down <laughs> that road but th that's a great we're just you know that's so being put up put on us right. you know we've been told for how many years are you know i've since I've been a kid, that that the world's going to end. Mm. I mean, whether from a from a ice age or right. from you know we're going to burn up. Then right. There's going to be a big hole in this mm -hmm. sky, and mm -hmm. and all the air is going to be sucked out, and the radiation is going <laughs> to come in, and we're all going to die. <laughs> you know, okay. But it is, so that that's constantly being put on us. Yes, Kathy so, just said, be thankful for what you have. Absolutely, that that's part of it. Um, yes. Realizing um, that that what you have, you should be thankful for. Absolutely. Right. Always um, be thankful for. Yes. Um, you know that that's part of the, mm. the million dollar plumber mindset. By yeah, the way, absolutely. okay. That that is a that's a secret okay, there, Ashley, right there. Okay. See, I am more than the situation I was born into. Yeah. Oh. Boom, Ashley. That, that's a biggie that's right a good there. One. Okay. Yes, absolutely. All right. Because you can change. You can change. Right. Your situation. Yes. Mikey said he is an MDP. Yes. Mikey's a million dollar okay. plumber. But mm -hmm. it's, we got to be so careful on what um, what our mouth says. Yes. You know what what we speak out so and what and what, what we tell ourselves. Yes. So watch your mouth. Watch your mouth. Don't make me come back there. Okay, that's right. <laughs> watch your mouth. Okay. What can we do next? Number two. Number two. We'll put it up there, Sparky. Mm. Let go of stuff. Ooh. Stop hoarding. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. My grandparents who came out of the depression, mm -hmm. so obviously that affected them. Sure. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, you know, my grandmother collected. You know had a whole room of tinfoil <laughs> like, like if there's going to be another if there's going to be another depression that the tinfoil and and the baggies <laughs> okay in the plat in the plastic wrap she okay them up, right fold them up yes and then put them in a drawer what well, was gonna it, i guess that was the saving you know day. right mm -hmm. is that funny i know but the yeah, whole well this might be a good question 
Huh. Um, what, is there something that you, growing up, that your your parents saved, like you know tinfoil or whatever, something that should have been thrown away? Right, right, right. Um, well, we, 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 <laughs> what that leads to, we see this with with the plumbing business, mm-hmm. um, is with you know the guys we we get a shop, mm-hmm. and and all of a sudden we just we have every fitting. <laughs> <laughs> that that we've ever used, or you know, off of, off of a job, mm-hmm. and all this junk just piles up. Anybody okay. want to admit to that? <laughs> right. We've actually gone to clients' shops. Well, so far we've well, gone to one. One, whatever. We want to go to the, more. the others won't let us they in. Won't <laughs> <laughs> we go in and we just it all goes. Mm-hmm. It all goes. Yes. It, it all goes. Because okay. Why, why are you saving? Why are you saving it? You're not. In fact, it's costing you more money holding on that mm-hmm. stuff. Okay. Mm-hmm. And that and you know, guys are never going to use. They're not going to come back to the shop to get that stuff. Mm-hmm. All right. And your yes. customers already paid for it. So if you feel bad about tossing it out, mm-hmm. you know, recycle it or whatever. Or of course, do the brass and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> Plastic on, <laughs> to save the. GB. My grandparents did that too. GB. <laughs> all right. Got to save the furniture. So you sit on plastic. On plastic. And it's all sticky and wait, wait, wait. right, right. Oh my goodness! Uh, right. My dad saved his high school basketball shorts. Sorry, man. <laughs> my dad saved his underwear for years. I mean, I guess where was the? All right. Um, hey, and uh, my grandma would reuse wrapping paper. Yes. <gasps> Jeff's first yeah. reuse paper plates. No. Really? <laughs> that is, and I know it's it's oh. sad because that that affects. We're talking about these things that affect our whole way of looking at life. Cool. You know. Like, Cool. Kool Aid points. She never Mike, turned. You just dated yourself. <laughs> Kool Aid. I don't remember Kool Aid points. Yes. Oh my goodness. Oh, all right. Uh, I will have to. Yes, Lance, you want me to come out there? Right. Hmm. Because okay. they've got the big move coming up with their new building. I'll hey, well, we'll come out there. We'll throw everything away. Right. We'll okay. Have to be in the summer because I can't. It, come it's out when just it's, cold. it's just in your way. It's not only in your way <laughs> as far bags. as physically in the way. <laughs> Watch out, Ziploc But bags. it's also in the oh way of your mindset <laughs> of being able to grow your plumbing business. Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. You cannot you cannot grow a successful plumbing business. Um, hoarding. If, and hoarding. Holding on. And yeah. with a scarcity mindset. Right. And maybe speak to that as far as, you know, the different fittings and just all the little things you think we may need them. Right. You know, and, and you might, but is the plumber, is one of your plumbers going to come back to the shop for that specific? No, they're not. No. They're and if the they do, the time, and, right, and the time it takes to come back to the shop and, and look through everything. Right. To, to find that one little thing that they're supposed to be there, which they're not going to do. Right. You know, you've lost, you know. Time, you know, opportunity, everything. Right. W- and with time that. is? Like time is money. <laughs> Okay, mm-hmm. and but but more importantly, guys, this is this is the mindset, the way mm-hmm. of thinking about. It. I'm not talking about being wasteful. Of course not. You know, we're not mm-hmm. talking about just being frivolous with. Um, right. You know, we need to be responsible with our resources mm-hmm. and, and the things that we have. Right. But it's um, but to, to hold on to these things. Mm-hmm. Okay. And if you have to get a bigger warehouse because you have. Stuff, then you get right, and you just you and then you stuff. get a bigger warehouse. And, you know, that's why these. You know. Mm-hmm. Storage units. The storage units are such storage a big. Storage units are everywhere. Right. Literally, and that's just. And it's say because something. people just hold on to junk. Right. You know, of holding on. And mm-hmm. I got. I get it because mm-hmm. between in our, in our, in our family, in yes. our relationship, uh-huh. I'm the one that tends to hold on to things more. Mm-hmm. I so I understand the emotion. The emotion. When we moved. Um, <laughs> when we moved, we said we because we're down. We downsized, right? Because kids are gone and all that. But when we moved, we would go through stuff, and I would give him. Like three seconds. I would three, hold something up. Half of a second. If I'm, <laughs> it was at least three. <laughs> and, then, and if he would, I'm like, okay, do you need it? Blah, blah, blah. And if he would hesitate for longer than three seconds, gone. It was gone. Gone. Then, then we just had right. to throw stuff out because yep. we weren't taking it. Well, mm-hmm. you know, it's in the way. It's in the way. Okay. We're downsized. Don't uh, need it. All right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but again. And some other things I threw out that you don't even know about. Right. But, <laughs> yeah. And you haven't missed it. No, you don't. Right. No, you haven't missed it. No, no. Of the things I threw away. No. You don't even know what I Could threw never away. find the what the actual what is it? The actual butter, the, oh, old, the old, old butter, butter tubs, tubs for the family, family Tupperware. <laughs> Tupperware. Right. We were just talking Danny, about oh, Danny. The bottom of the, the, hey, the bottom of the hand soap. Um, added, added water, water oh. until the soap turned into water. Oh wow. Yep. That's funny. Yep. Danny, are you already back? What time Up is here. it? All right. They already land. Hope so. One more. My dad would uh, straighten out oh. old used nails. I can't make this up. Right. And he was a doctor, made a good living. Right. Isn't that funny? It, so he would straighten out used nails and then put them in the garage, I guess, and just for yeah. whenever you need a nail. Again, wow. you know, it's. Mm-hmm. That's tough to overcome as you see your parents do that, you know. 
Right. That, that that's, is that's drilled part, into us. That's the conditioning. Mm-hmm. It, it, you know, it's, it's there. Right. To this day. There, that's right, D.W. There is. I was I never. That's, there, and that's mm-hmm. a great. I'm going to lead that into the, into the plumbing business. We, mm-hmm. we get uh, so caught up in the scarcity that there's only so much work. Mm-hmm. And there's only so many customers. Mm-hmm. And I was so worried about the competition, Mm -hmm. the competition. Mm -hmm. I was never worried about the competition. Mm -hmm. I just never, there's plenty out there. You just, (laughs) because I, right, I mean, just, Mm -hmm. I just work smarter. You Mm -hmm. went after it because the competition is worried about the competition. Mm -hmm. Okay. I was just moving. You just keep moving, going after, going after stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay. You know, right. None of our clients have competition. Nope. All right. Okay. Mm -mm. So, hey, if you want to learn these things, all right, th- this, like this concept right here mm-hmm. and other concepts, okay, that are important that you need for your plumbing business mm-hmm. that will help you build a, a million-dollar plumbing business, mm-hmm. all right, you need to grab my free million-dollar plumber blueprint, mm-hmm. okay? All the specs, that, and even one of the specs alludes to this kind of a thing, okay? Of this kind of thing is in there, all right? The specs you need to grow a successful and very profitable plumbing business, all right? And you can grab it for free. Simply type free in the comments or go to themilliondollarplumber.com forward slash free to grab your free copy. So hey, do look it. look at this. We're, we've even gotten this far in the show and no glitches, right? All right. And nobody Things are looking up. We're, we're crashing right. or anything, so okay. that's a good sign. Yay! All right. Like ain't no that. scarcity around here. Okay. <laughs> well, there was the last okay. few weeks. <laughs> There's plenty. There's plenty out there. Okay. But this scarcity mindset, mm-hmm. in fact, this is the thing we have to overcome. I, I think we have, we have, we have well, I know we have, I recognize mm-hmm. we have some of our clients on mm-hmm. here that we work directly all with. All of our favorites. Yep. <laughs> all, right. all of our favorites are watching. Okay. And um, it, it, this is one of the things that, w- that we have to overcome mm-hmm. is, is that, that scarcity mindset. Yes. Because, because it's been so, 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 mm-hmm. you know, drilled into us. Right. And you I know? think the vast majority have. Yep. So, yep. Mikey says, I found out quickly here lately, there are plenty of customers. Not all are mine, though. Oh, but Mikey, they will be. Good. Right. Well, but. Right, that's customer. the way they think. Right. Yes, that's right. Right, right. Not mm-hmm. all the custom customers mm-hmm. are yours. Right. But even the right ones that mm-hmm. should be yours, they that are be. yours, there's plenty of those. Mm-hmm. You just, we just got to go, go after it. Right. You know? Mm-hmm. Okay. So what do we have? Watch your mouth. Watch your mouth. Boy, watch your mouth. Okay, I can hear, I can hear my mama talking, you know, and then smack. Okay, you know, when, so parent, when parents could smack their kids. Remember? Uh-huh. What did your mom, your mom ever throw a shoe at you? Who was talking about that this or, weekend? <laughs> or throw something at was. you? I just, was whoo, it Danny and Thais, I think, talking about throwing a sandal or something? Or something like that, right. Yeah. You know? like, that's a thing, you throw sandals? It's to throw something. <laughs> <laughs> I can say my mother never threw a sandal at me. Right. So. Uh, she do other things. Uh, <laughs> so watch your mouth, okay? Number two, all mm-hmm. right. Let go of the stuff. Just let let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Mm-hmm. Is that a song? I don't know. Let it, just let it go, okay? <laughs> let it go. Mm-hmm. Especially, guys, we're talking about your warehouse and all the stuff. Mm-hmm. In fact, you know, as I we, we talk with our private clients, mm. you know, the warehouse isn't to have a bunch of stuff in it. Mm. So, like when you get the shop, the first shop, it's more important that you have a nice place for the ladies. And yes. a good place for the guys to meet. Two bathrooms. You know, and, mm-hmm. and in, a, in a shop so you can have a truck full of supply, you know, a truck of one supplies. Truck. One truck and full. And you, you can pull it, yeah, one yeah. truck full. Mm-hmm. And, you, and you, you know, maybe, um, you know, 75-gallon gas water heaters, a few different things that are difficult to get, you know, right on the spot, mm-hmm. you know, that kind of a thing that you mm-hmm. can have around. Mm-hmm. But not to have, That's it. you know, like, you know, you do that uh, water main job or whatever or that well job and, mm-hmm. you know, you got to buy that. You know, hundred, you know, two hundred foot roll of you know well pipe, mm. and you got fifty foot of it left. So you roll it up and have it in the back corner of the shop, and it stays there for eighteen years, <laughs> <laughs> collecting dust. You know, all, all that kind and of stuff. Moving around to get to other stuff. <laughs> right. And, yeah. All that, all that stuff, uh, crap mm-hmm. adds up. You know, just let it go. Let it go. Kay. Okay. Finally, number three. Point three. Point three. Spark. All right. Oh wait! Before, oh, before we say it, everyone say happy birthday to Sparky. It was his birthday this weekend. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Sparky. Happy birthday to you. You have the best voice ever. All right. Well, yeah. but okay. Happy birthday. Everybody say happy birthday to Sparky. Happy birthday, yes. Sparky. He's still a, a young, young buck. Yep. He's good a guy. good kid. Good I mean, kid. All he's right. He's a good kid. Anyway, number three okay. is... Invest versus the idea of spending. Mm-hmm. Okay. Th- this is a biggie, too. Okay. Okay, and what that looks like in the plumbing business that we, that we see all the time. One one of the one of the biggies is the trucks. 
Yes. The guy's proud that they got this piece of crap truck that I got a good deal on, and I, <laughs> I did the body work myself, and I painted it myself, and I did everything myself. Kind of like I we do, did I, in the beginning. All right, which we did. <laughs> <laughs> Learn from our mistakes. Right. Okay. <laughs> but it's, but it's, it's not a, you know, it's not, you know, it's not spending. No. Invest. Investing. Okay. Investing. You know, exactly. so the idea of, you know, I'm not going to buy a, a new truck. Mm. Even with co- I hear it from even companies that are doing doing pretty well. Mm. I, I just not, not, I don't need to buy a new truck. Mm. I need to get, you know, I can get a good deal and right. I can fix it up myself. Mm-hmm. And I love it when I hear guys, well, I try to, I don't jump on it right away because mm. it just blows guys out of the water. But where they're going to set up their own mechanic shop, you know, Ooh. and hire a mechanic that's going to work on their trucks and do all. No, 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 Why? Stop. Stop. Stop it. Stop. Okay. All right. <laughs> Get the new truck. Okay. Which is, you know, and invest in investing. a new truck versus yes. the idea of spending. Right. Okay. Invest in a new brand. Right. That's investing instead yes. of spending. Oh, man, that's so much money to spend. The idea of spending. Right. Right. I want to do kick charge, but gosh. Right. I don't There's want to spend the money. No, you're not spend spending it. You're, you're investing. Inv- you're investing. You're investing. Okay. That, mm-hmm. that, that comes back. It, it turns for you. Oh, okay. Abs- you know? I would say every one of our clients who has rebranded would say, hands ah. down, probably one of the best decisions they made early yep. on. For you know, sure. So, you know, and one of our clients, Matt Delnay, Mountaineer Plumbing in um, Grand Rapids, yeah, right? Grand Rapids. Mi- yeah, Michigan. Um, just, I don't know if you saw on Facebook. Oh, I saw it come through. I haven't had a chance to take a close look yeah. at it yet. He's stuck. wrapping a city bus. They're doing the, the city bus. Yes. So I've had Mountaineer all over the bus. The city bus. Okay. It's, it's gorgeous. Right. It's absolutely gorgeous. So, so that's not an that's not a, a, a he's it's not, not spending. It's not a, an expense. Right. By the way, who pays to have that bus wrapped? <laughs> I don't know if Matt's still on. He better. Or be. if he's, I think I think I saw him on. <laughs> all right. Anyone else can answer? Yeah. Who, who, who pays for it? We'll who pays? Who pays to we'll wrap the bus? Took the plunge and got a new one. Hey, hey, Adam. Hey, good. Your new Brunswick man. There we go, brother. Good to see you, Adam. Uh, Tell Jamie hi. Yes. Mm-hmm. Hope the gang is doing well. Mm-hmm. Um, good. Tax right. plumbing. Two city. He two. 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 Uh, <laughs> two uh. Well, he got twins. He's holding twins there. <gasps> that's true. So I get that's his magic number. Two. two uh. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. But who? Great money spent. Who mm-hmm. pays for it? Who? Who pays to wrap those know? buses? We'll just okay, wait. I'm waiting here. I'm no, not going any further. Bra- all right, please. Okay, new. All right, good. The customer. The customer. All that's right. Bahama Plumbing, right there. There we go, brother. Mm-hmm. Right. I mean, so the customers are paying for that. We pay for mm-hmm. everything that our the other companies that, you know, that we buy stuff from do. Okay. <laughs> Sarah said Sarah is the other half right. of Mountaineer Plumbing. My accountant had to talk with me about all our new trucks and told us to buy used. <laughs> Hashtag. Fired. fired. Get rid of. Get well, rid well of you that. can get rid of. So accountants. Uh, are, <laughs> Mrs. Are, Jones, are, Facebook. Right, uh, Mrs. Jones. That's right. <laughs> um, you know, and that's that's the thing, guys. Don't grow your your, your accountants. Don't grow your business. No. Okay. Not certainly the regular standard uh, accounting. No. Okay. All right. No, they're um, and they're not going to talk. You know. Growth. Growth. All right. No. And wealth. And, all right. No, they, and they're busy. Right. They, right. Their number. They plug things into the computer. Right. And don't. That's about it. Right. Which needs to be done for taxes and all that kind right. of stuff. But yeah. Okay. Right. Yeah. So good for you guys. Fire good. that guy. Okay. Good. Yes. Dumb advice. Okay. Just just plug the numbers in and shut your mouth. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That's why. Okay. All right. Nice. Okay. Or okay. be quiet. Okay. <laughs> right. Shut up. Not nice. Shut up. Yes. <laughs> no. We need more people need to be told to shut up. That's right. Okay. Especially stupid right. accountants. Yes. <laughs> okay. Okay. Just oh, kidding. our accountants hope Just he's not kidding. watching. I know he. Right. No, he's not watching. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Another okay. area we see this yes. is the idea of getting plumbers. Mm-hmm. Okay. okay. Mm-hmm. Um, and the idea of recruiting. We talk a lot about recruiting. Always be. be always be recruiting, recruiting, right? Recruit, 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 recruit. Mm-hmm. And so, you know, there's, there's a marketing element of that, that kind of a thing. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, no more used trucks. Maintenance repairs is costing us yeah, <laughs> the cost, cost of a new one. one. Exactly right, Kyle? Right, Kyle. That's, that's right. Okay. Not to mention the other value that, that it provides. Right. And when okay. that truck is down. What happens? It's warning, right. Not only the maintenance oh. that you're paying for, but yeah, when the, the used truck is down getting fixed, right. you're losing time. Yep. Mm-hmm. All that. So, um, but the idea of um, going after plumbers, okay? Oh, okay? Yes. So, you know, we, we talk about, um, we have, you know, the ways to recruit and mm-hmm. the different things you can do. And there, there's a cost associated with that. Right. All right. Mm-hmm. And sometimes it can be a little, you know, it, it can feel like I'm spending a lot of money when I'm not getting anything right back at the moment. To hire a plumber. Right. To, to hire, mm-hmm. hire a plumber. To okay. really go after, when you, to go after plumbers. Do okay. It well. right. And it, right. To do it not well. Not just put a, an ad in the local newspaper or out right. on Indeed. All right. You know, that ad. kind of stuff. Right. You know, but even if you, okay, if, if you spent mm-hmm. a, $1,000 a month mm-hmm. 
which is a good, pretty heavy campaign on that kind, sure. of, that kind of a thing. But a thousand dollars a month, mm -hmm. and you did it for a whole year. Mm -hmm. You That's spent twelve thousand dollars, but you did, you know. And finally, you got a plumber. Okay. All right. Okay. How much does that plumber make for you in a truck? Five hundred thousand more. Hopefully. All right. So would it be mm -hmm. worth twelve thousand dollars to get five thousand hmm. dollars? Yeah, if I, you I, invested twelve thousand dollars and got back five hundred thousand, is that a good investment? Right. I, I like I that investment. I can't do the math, right. but I'm pretty sure that's pretty good. I like that investment. Okay, <laughs> it's like that's, Bitcoin. Right. Okay, Bitcoin. <laughs> or okay. or Digicoin. What is the other one? Dodgecoin. I, I don't. Dodgeball coin. I don't. Know. <laughs> okay. <right. laughs> time is money. No, um, not time to be down. Exactly. Right. Okay. But mm -hmm. that that's a good invest. That's investing, not spending. Right. And so it's a different uh, way to look at it. Right. And so that's why we, we go, you know, we go through these these expenses, mm -hmm. you know, that are on an accounting sheet or whatever mm -hmm. the accountant says. You're spending this, right, you're spending, you're spending this. this. Right, right, right. Spend, no, well, no. no, no, I'm investing. It's an investing, right? right. Okay, really for is, the return, yeah, right? It is. It is I mean, investing, right? Yes. So branding, new trucks, right? Um, and things that go with branding, the website, all that kind of stuff, because that can be. I mean, it is a chunk of money, but right. what's the return on it? Right. You know, it's an investment. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's spending. right. You can't look at that. That's you know really sums it up there with the idea of that. You know, the scarcity mindset. You just mm -hmm. can't grow. Right. You you got to spend money to make money. Yep. I mean, that's a true statement. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. A... Now now you now we're looking at making, um, you know, um, wise decisions, mm -hmm. um, calculated decisions. I mean, you know, before we hand out, you know. Sure. Do I think this is a good place to advertise? Mm -hmm. Do I think this is a good way of marketing? Right. You know, um, you know, we're doing the buses. Yes. The I, mm -hmm. I think that's an investment. Because you're not, you're not going to be able to, but it's investment in branding. Mm -hmm. you, you can't, and you can't measure these things. That's why yeah. you can try to get into, well, I want to know how much I'm making off this. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's why accountants, um, you know. Because um, it, it's not measurable, right? Even marketers, you know, mm -hmm. like I'm mentioning with the with the um, with the uh, recruiting, mm -hmm. uh, using certain marketing techniques to recruit. Mm -hmm. The marketing companies don't will say no. We don't want to. That's you don't want to use it for that. Right. Well, the reason they don't want to do it for that because they can't show you right. the next month. Well, here you spent this much and I got you this. Right. Okay, so they don't like that because you can't show an immediate return on investment. Right. So things like branding, which the recruiting for the way we recruit with marketing is mm -hmm. really your branding, the idea of recruiting. Mm -hmm. Well, this branding play, like the two buses, that's a branding play. Right. You can't measure that. Mm -hmm. You can't measure what that means, the, the, you know, what, how that places mountain air plumbing in the community. Right. It just feels like I'm writing this check every mm -hmm. month. Yes. You know. um, President said, "Just hire a CSR and sign up for service I can Talk about spending money to make money. There yes. we go. You're investing. You're investing. Yeah, you mm -hmm. are, brother. Okay. Mm -hmm. New truck is an asset, not a liability. Yeah. Boom. That's right. Boom. That's Daniel right. Tanner. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. That's okay. Iron now, we, now we've plumbing. been we've been told a different thing. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, if you look at it, you know it does lose depreciation as soon as you know the trucks depreciate like nothing. Right. I mean, they, you know, as soon as you <laughs> drive it off, you know that kind of Bitcoin. Jeez. Come on, girl. <laughs> <laughs> you know right, me. right. All right. Game, GameStop. Game yes. Stop. And um, what's the other one? Uh, Robin Hood. Yeah. I don't know what right. any of that means, but okay. I've heard about it. Right. So anyway, keep going. What, what? <laughs> What's going on here? I'm losing control <laughs> of the show here. <laughs> what? Sorry. Okay. You were saying something okay. really good. But what? I know. Something <laughs> about branding and the investment. Okay. There's not an immediate return. Okay. Right. And because mm -hmm. we, we've been told, you know, even like with a truck, well, it loses, you know, you lose all this depreciation. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, you what do. Okay. But that's mm -hmm. not the thing. Mm -hmm. What the, the value that, that you get from that, mm -hmm. from, from how, what, how um, the customer likes having a new truck in the driveway. Definitely. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. The and guys, they're noticed. right. They're, they're noticed, noticed more yes. quickly. All yes. right. And you can't measure they're, that. Yeah. Right? You can't measure that. Right. Um, what was I going to say about being able to measure? I have no idea. It's gone. Well, you can't. The branding stuff, you can't You can't measure. Well, because, I mean, I know a lot of our clients, once they rebranded their truck, got new trucks, and then branded, and they may have only had a couple trucks, but they're, they're hearing from customers, their community, we see your see trucks, trucks everywhere. everywhere. What's the value on that? Right. What's the return on that investment? Mm-hmm. You know that we see your trucks everywhere, everywhere. okay right all right mm -hmm. so the idea of invest versus spending mm -hmm. okay so you know change that way of thinking th of things right okay, okay. so 
There this we go. This is amazing. All right. I think hey, we, we made got it through, through the without... entire show without yeah. um, crashing. Yay. That's awesome. All right. We almost forgot well, I wanted to, to hit this. I was like frustrated like the last, how many is last four times? Because this is a big deal. <laughs> this whole idea of the scarcity mindset. <laughs> we were going to get this show right. down. Because this, this, is a, this is a big deal. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, we, we talk all the time that, you know, look, you know, the success depends on like 20% of you know, these practical things like mm -hmm. having the right systems like Service Titan and using like, um, you know, Kick Charge, Kick Charge for branding, you know, that kind of thing. Applicant right. Pro mm -hmm. for helping with your recruiting mm -hmm. and those kinds of things and having these other systems in place, knowing mm -hmm. your honest hourly rate, you know, having your own flat rate taskmaster, your mm -hmm. own flat rates, that kind of stuff. So, you know, your numbers, right. you know, it's important to put those things in place. That's 20 percent of it. Mm -hmm. OK, 80 percent of it is what's going on up here. Okay, in up, up in here, right? Mm -hmm. And so this idea, this scarcity thing of, of thinking, you know, of I got to, you know, focus on saving every penny to the bottom mm -hmm. line, <laughs> and, you know, every little I got to get, I got to get my labor to sales ratio down to point because it's all focusing instead Please of focusing, focusing voice. on the little stuff. I'm trying to exaggerate this because this is where guys are killing <laughs> yourselves. Mm -hmm. Okay, you're you're really killing your business. All right, by focusing on that bottom line so hard of mm -hmm. trying to eke pennies out of that mm -hmm. where if you focus that's the scarcity mindset right focus but, on if the you top line. but if you focus on the top line like the world is mine right I'm the king of the world <laughs> <laughs> right. and go go after mm -hmm. that's what happens yes okay all right simple as that so there yeah. we go okay. okay all right watch your mouth mm -hmm. let go of the stuff mm -hmm. okay think investing versus spending mm -hmm. okay so there we go good okay. one all right, Yay. glad you joined us here. Yeah, thanks, All right. guys, for your patience. All Again, right. make sure if you um, have not typed text in the comments, do that so that you get a text message when we go live, especially when we go to a different platform. That's right. You don't want to miss an episode come of Come on, come hang live. out with us. Yeah. Come on, right, be our friends. <laughs> okay, <laughs> right. Learn more, more mm -hmm. good stuff on how to grow your plumbing business. Mm -hmm. And if that's really what you're looking to do, then you need to check out my Million Dollar Plumber Success Academy, mm -hmm. okay? Walk you through everything you need to know that to grow a successful, self-sustaining, that's mm -hmm. a favorite word of mine, self-sustaining, mm -hmm. all right? Mm -hmm. And of course, very profitable plumbing business. Everything, how to figure out your, your hourly rates. We talked about um, how to figure out your own um, flat rates, okay? The right kind of marketing that you need to do. How, how to hire the guys, where to find the guys, mm -hmm. okay? Everything. All right, that you need to know on the business side of your plumbing business, okay? And right now you can check it out for free, 14-day free trial. Simply type success in the comments or go to themilliondollarplumber.com forward slash success. So yes. there you go. All right, good one. Yeah, good All job, right. baby. We All right, it. we made it through. We didn't, we, did. we didn't forget how. Next week is part four. Part four, yes. okay. Hey. Tune in, check it out. Because it's going to be a biggie. It's going to be the big. It'll be you. That's right. <laughs> All right. Hey, as always, before we let you go, I want to remind you that you are purposefully and wonderfully created, and you were created to do great things. So come like a champion. Thank you for tuning in to Potty Talk Live with Richard Bainey, the million dollar plumber. If you enjoyed this show, share it now. Just do it. To catch past episodes and get alerts for new episodes, turn notifications on now. And join us again for more tips, techniques, and strategies to help you grow your plumbing business.